Hey, welcome to Schuster System channel, the place where we're gonna help you to better understand the fluid flow, avoid costly design errors, and reduce the number of service calls. In today's video, we are gonna carry out, uh, carry out, carry out. In today's video, we are gonna carry out the most extreme and spectacular test for our check valve, which we call the rack test. My name is Konrad Hudzik and this is Schuster System Channel. Let's jump into it. The test of a check valve using a rack presents the most problematic solids that can be found in a sewer system. Solids are the main cause of clogging moving parts in a valve, such as a flap or a bowl. Today we are going to check whether the rack mentioned before could clog this Schuster system ball check valve. What we built here is the installation that simulates a sewage system. It consists of the pump, the chamber where we will insert the rack, manometer and flow meter, the strainer to catch the rack. Here is Schuster system valve with a diameter of 100 mm. And this is our rack, that in a moment will clock, or not. The rack is a 14 by 25 cm floor cloth with a weight of 40 gram, previously kept in the water for 24 hours according to the requirements of the European standards for such tests. I put a rack here from where it will be pulled into the pipeline. Now we are going to switch on the pumps and see what happens. Ready? Let's switch on the pump. Now the pump is working and the rack is sucked into the system. And here we will see what happens inside. Here, did you see? The rack passes through the valve without any problem. Okay, let's switch off the pump for a moment and we will see what happened with the rack. Okay, ready? So now you can see that the rack passes the valve without any damage. Now we're gonna turn valve upside down and make the whole test again to see if the valve can be clocked in this different position. Okay, so the valve is screwed upside down and let's start another round. We are waiting for the rack. Here it is. Here it is again. No damage, all fine. The results from the test are pretty simple. Even such a big fibrous part, as large as this rack, can pass through the Schuster system valve without any clogging, regardless the position of the valve. It's because the valve is designed in a completely different way. When the valve is in a fully open position, the bowl is located in this pocket channel outside the main flow. What's more, the ball stays in the pocket without disrupting the flow or causing vibrations. Hmm? Don't go away yet and click here to watch our next video.